Kelly Lim and RVA Grew celebrating all things arts and culture on the beautiful VCU campus, Monroe Park campus to be very exact. We're about to go inside the Anderson Gallery. When we talk about celebrating arts and culture, we have to go to one of the hubs where it celebrates it the most. We're gonna to talk to Dean Joe Siepel about the School of the Arts and how the Richmond community embraces it in that culture. Let's go on in and check out the Anderson Art Gallery. Kelly Lemon, RVA Grooves, where we celebrate all things arts and culture. Standing inside the beautiful Anderson Gallery located on VCU's campus, and I have the pleasure to talk to the Dean of the School of Arts, Dean Joe Seipel. How you doing, Dean? I'm doing great, and welcome to the Anderson Gallery and VCU Arts. Well, thank you so much. Talking about VCU and arts and culture, I mean, no other institution in Richmond is giving that as much as VCU is. Um, you're no stranger to VCU, so talk about your relationship with the university. Well, I've actually been here, been here and gone, and now I'm back. And I was here originally for 34 and a half years, and I was uh, a professor of sculpture during that time. And 17 of those years, I was the chair of the sculpture department. And then eight and a half years, I was in the dean's office as senior associate dean and director of all the graduate programs. Then the, the headhunters got a hold of me and uh, talked me into going down to the Savannah College of Art and Design as vice president. And I did that for two years. When the previous dean retired, I got some phone calls and said, would you throw your hat in the ring? They did a national search. I did throw my hat in the ring. And about a year and four months ago, I was offered the position as dean of the School of the Arts. And with great enthusiasm, my wife and I moved back to Richmond and uh, it's been great working with the School of the Arts since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now talking about that a little bit more, um, you know, our basketball team made the run for the Final Four. School of the Arts students said, oh, we're in the Final Four every year because we are the number one public university for School of the Arts. Talk about um, how those rankings matter. Well, the rankings are rankings done by U.S. News and World Report, and we've been ranked now in the top, we've been now ranked the top public arts school for almost 12 years. And those rankings are developed, it's a, actually a ballot goes out to 224 art schools around the country, and it's the, our peers who vote on it. So it's actually how we're perceived around the country. So our, our uh, colleagues around the country in all the art schools vote on us, and that's how we ended up getting that top ranking. So we also have 10 of our specialty programs are ranked in the top 10, and four of them are number one in public arts ranking in the country also. The diversity that is at VCU, I mean, speaks for itself. And it seems like um, because we're on different campuses and there's so many different worlds uh, that make up VCU, talk about how we are getting into the community. The VCU's presence around the city is amazing. If you look at every cultural institution in the city, someone there is an alumni from VCU or someone or one of our alumni or our faculty or our students are exhibiting or performing, whatever. It, seriously, if I wanted to go to a cultural event every night of the week, I still have to choose between two or three in the, in the fall, winter, and spring because there's so much happening. But I would love to talk about the ICA, the Institute for Contemporary Art. That's going to be built on the corner of Belvedere and Broad. This is a, a $32 million building. Uh, the campaign, the fundraising is going on right now. We are just slightly shy of $20 million, and we've already um, have, have in the bank, so to speak. And uh, the architect for it is Stephen Hall. Stephen Hall is one of the world's most famous architects. He was just given the gold medal by the American Institute of Architects. Um, that is the highest award they give. It's one of the two biggest, most prestigious medals in the country. Stephen and, and his associates have been working with us, and we've developed this building that is just going to be a showstopper when it's on that corner. It's, it's got an illuminated front that's about 65 feet high. It's a gorgeous, uh, soft, what they call weathered zinc surface, uh, four galleries, uh, 9,600 square feet of gallery space. It'll have a cafe and a restaurant, a coffee shop and a restaurant, a bookstore, an outdoor sculpture garden, uh, a second floor sculpture terrace, and there are no walls around it. We want everybody in VCU to come and enjoy the campus that's gonna be around it. It will, it has no front, it has no back. Part of it faces VCU, the other part faces the city, and metaphorically, that's an important thing because we want the city to enjoy this as well as the students at VCU. 
When you get off of 95 uh, 2015, I mean, you're going to literally drive right into it. Um, and it's going to introduce kind of the, the arts corridor that's been happening with First Friday's artwork. Art Walk, can you talk a little bit about how VCU's gotten involved with that as well? Yeah, with the corner of Belvedere and Broad is really the edge of the new arts district. Sort of VCU will be to the west and the arts district is to the east. We also are two, next to two neighborhoods, Carver and Jackson Ward, and we're very excited. We've talked to both of those groups about their involvement. Um, I think the new ICA, because of where it's sitting, has a, has a really wonderful opportunity to work as a catalyst for conversation amongst all of our communities. We're really excited about that. Um, the Anderson Art Gallery, what is its future um, with the new building? Well, one of the things we're going to be able to do at the Anderson Gallery is focus it much more directly on students. So I expect the students will have a lot more opportunities to show their work in the Anderson Gallery because many of the shows, the, the larger shows coming in from out of town or coming in from overseas or even shows that we curate ourselves, we will be showing in, in the Institute for Contemporary Art. If someone wanted to visit one of the displays here or come to the Anderson Art Gallery, um, can they log on to the web to find out information? Absolutely. Check out the VCU Arts website and on there will be a link for the Anderson Gallery and it'll tell you what exhibitions are going now and also give you some great images of our previous exhibitions, but it'll tell you when you can come, when they're setting up shows and when shows are going to be, uh, going to be available for viewing. RVA Groove celebrates all things arts and culture, and we are a platform to get this exposure, not just locally, regionally, but nationally. Talk a little bit about how this helps, um, especially with VCU School of the Arts in the Richmond community. One thing I was told by somebody recently, they said there is no longer such thing as local. With the websites going what's happening, and, and YouTube and everything that's happening right now, anything we do locally automatically goes globally within seconds at the right time. So, RVA Grooves is going to be one more wonderful opportunity for the artists and creative people in this town to show their stuff, from music to, to dance and theater and, and the creative arts. We're really excited and uh, thank RVA Grooves for this opportunity. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Don't forget to check us out. Make sure you check out the School of the Arts. You can go on the VCU Maine website and just type in School of the Arts and their website will come up and give you all the information about the things that are going on on campus, but also going on in the VCU community as a whole. Once again, on behalf of RVA Grooves, I'm Kelly Lemon, celebrating all things arts and culture. RVA Grooves, we'll be right back.